Okay, so this is just coming from the graph. Of course, you can also graph these um, on Desmos, but what we start with is graphing the equation um, y equals negative x squared minus 3.5x plus 2 equals y uh, and y equals 2. So here, this is the parabola. So this one is y equals the negative 3, oops, the negative x squared minus 3.5x plus 2. If you plug that into decimals, you would get that graph. And then y equals 2, y equals a number is always going to be a horizontal line. So we're looking just first for the points of intersection. So the points of intersection are what? Yeah, 0, 2, and negative 3.52. Right? So that means if we were going to solve where is the parabola equal to 2, then we have our x values. We're going to put those in set notation. Negative 3.5 and 0 are the x values because you see those come from the points of intersection. y equals 2 is that line. And that's why the points are the ordered pair but the solution is just the x values. Because if you were to plug in these x values one at a time, you should get y equals 2. Uh -huh. The x values are what, yes, when we solve, we're looking for the x values. Mm -hmm. Because just like when you solve, you'd be solving and you would be finding x. Because you could solve this algebraically as well, right? This is just how we solve it graphically, but there's those are the two different things we can do. Now, if we if we want to know when is this greater than 2, that's this whole area up top, right? So what's the interval where up here we're, we're greater than 2? Why is this is, yeah, mm -hmm, where the parabola is greater than 2. And that would be what? to 0, right? Because we're, we're looking at, we're looking for what x values would give me that. And you could also look at this at a table of values too. If I were to plug this into Desmos and do a table of values, we're looking for all of the y values that are greater than 2. What x values? The question that is that it's asking us is what x values give us y values that are greater than 2, okay? Okay, let's look at example 5. So do you have any idea which is which um, in terms of which equation would give us this shape and which equation would give us this shape? Well, we know that the parabola is always x squared. So this one has to be y equals 1 6 x squared. And then this shape here would have to be the cubic function y equals x cubed plus x. So the first thing we want to identify is the point of intersection. Where does one graph cross the other? And it'd be nice if these were in two different colors, right? If I had printed them in color. And then, so the point of intersection looks like it's just 0. Yeah? 0, 0. So what's the solution then? 0. And that's okay. We can have x can be 0. That doesn't mean there's no solution. The only time you'd have no solution is if you had two graphs that didn't cross at all. But these graphs are crossing at 0. Solve where the cubic function is less than or equal to the parabola. So less than or equal to the parabola, isn't that down here? This is less than the parabola because otherwise it's going, it's crossing the parabola and going up. It would have, they're both positive values up here and then the parabola doesn't have any negative values for y but the cubic function does. So what would you say, when is this cubic function less than the quadratic function? Yeah, 
So from negative infinity to zero. And should I include the zero? Does everybody see where she's getting these, this idea from? We're coming, because we're, we're, these, remember these are x values. So we're coming from when x is, you know, because this is pointing down and it's going over, so it's actually going towards negative infinity. So from negative infinity up to zero, and then zero is when they're equal, when you get to positive one, two, three, four, five, all these x values, then um, the cubic function is, is greater than the parabola. Yes, Brian? I would never write it zero to negative infinity. Are you asking if you could write it like this? Yeah, I would not do that because it just looks weird. We always want to go from small to large in order. Mm -hmm. It looks better. So I would put the negative infinity first. Good questions. Anything else?